at the Hard Rock Hotel, New York with Anissa. We have known each other for a very long time and, and seeing everything to come together for you has just been phenomenal. You have so much going on. Uh, one of the big things, one of the most exciting things mm -hmm. is this new single. I have a new song called Fool coming out with Jake and Galantis. Yes. Um, two very talented, incredible artists. I'm so happy to be a part of this. We did the song last year. It kind of happened where like I was in the studio at Atlantic. I'm signed to Atlantic Records. Uh, so is Galantis. And he was in the studio. And I just, I heard something cooking up. And I just stepped my, I stuck my, my head in like, what's going on? And um, I heard the song. And so I just like, I need to hop on this. And then I hopped on it. And then it, then they got Jake on it. So then that's how it all came about. What do you do? You just like literally like drop into his session and you're like, hey, put me on this song. And it just worked out. Yeah. I was like, yo, I need it. I need to be in. The, I need to be involved in this song. <laughs> I was like, I got to be a part of this. Love you. This beat is fire. I saw that. I, I think this is right. You went to high school. You were classmates with Joey Badass. I went to high school with Joey Badass, but we weren't classmates. Okay. But I did meet him once, and I remember. <laughs> was he like, hey, I remember you from science? Yeah, or? It, it's funny because we never had class together. Okay. I had one instance with him. He was really popular in my school because when I went to high school, that was like when Joey Badass was blowing up. Okay, okay. Everybody knew him, and it was like the cool kid. And um, I remember seeing him one time. I went into the theater. I went into the auditorium with my friend, and nobody was there, and it was him and his friend. They were playing with a phone right behind me. The phone hit my head. <laughs> And he, I remember he didn't, he never, he didn't apologize, and that stuck with me forever. So we don't like Joey Badass <laughs> no, no, here no, no, no. until he comes with that <laughs> apology. Joey, he probably will never ever. It's so funny. He'll never <laughs> he probably, probably even, remember this. Yeah, yeah. I, rem I'll, I won't forget because when I met him, I was like, um, "Oh wait, you're the rapper," and he was like, "No, I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist." And I was like, I never understood that until like I really became an <laughs> yeah, artist. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like. You know, we're singers and stuff like that, but we're an artist because we create. Everything. You know what's so crazy? Kanye, when I was talking to him years and years ago, he said, when you when you call me a rapper, it's offensive to me because he he compared it to an iPhone. And he said, yeah. would you call your iPhone just a phone? Exactly. It's not, so many it's, things. And I was like, bro, that yeah. is amazing. Yeah, it's true. When you're, yeah, you don't think about it when you're young. Like if someone calls you singer, yeah, it's cool. You're a singer. But like I write my songs. I play instruments. I, you know what I mean? Right. I create, I produce, I do everything. So it's funny. I get that growing up. And then it's funny. Years later, we ended up doing a song together yeah. with Static Selecta, g Easy, and Joy Badass. We all did a song called Ain't a Damn Thing Change. I and was singing on the hook. You didn't and, bring and up then, the cell phone then. No, and then I saw him recently. <laughs> because I did the Brooklyn Nets um, like celebrity influencer game yep. and then I saw him backstage and I was like yo so it's nice to finally like really meet you yeah yeah you know we did that song together went to high school together That's but um, yeah it's really funny how things come come about so what's your relationship now with with uh, a boogie because w were you ever signed to a division of his label or was he just a believer in you or yeah so it was like my time where I was like going to all these different label meetings and I just kind of like had to pick where I got signed. Right. And kind of last minute, um, I knew A Boogie and his crew, the Highbridge boys. Um, I was cool with them. They knew my music. They really liked my stuff. They were a fan of my stuff. And um, just like one day out of nowhere, they hit me up and they're like, because they're, uh, they're with Atlantic Records. Yeah. So Atlantic Records basically is like Highbridge, the label. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah, have yeah. a division on Atlantic. And um, they were like, you know, let's have a meeting and like, let's sit down, like, let's listen to the music. I want to know what you're doing, whatever, all that stuff. So, you know, I had a meeting with them and I saw that they were actually really intelligent people yeah. and like they really knew what they were doing. They had their shit together and they just took me to Atlantic's office, like really out of nowhere, straight up. We just went to Atlantic. So they literally bridged the gap for yeah, you. Yeah, they, they did. They cool. brought me over to Atlantic. Yeah, I've been with them ever since. So last year you did uh, American Song Contest. Yeah. Right? Um, do you feel like uh, you did great on there? You, you were representing like what? All New of York. New York. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, do you feel like that show benefited you? Yeah. You know what? I, I had a I had a great time at that show. Like okay. the overall experience of that show was like amazing. And it gave me my first big live stage performance. Like. Yeah. 
something that show did for us was really give everybody a taste of what it's like to have like a VMA performance, a yeah, Grammy yeah. style performance, and to see could you do it. And you know, there's a little time frame of when you get to rehearse with dancers and all that stuff. So you have to really like know your shit to make sure you have a good performance. Right. So it was such a good learning experience and I got the chance to feel like I was at the VMAs and I knew that I could do it. You know what I mean? And I knew that, like, I knew this is what I'm meant to do. So, I mean, I had a great experience on that show. I made some new fans, made some new great friends, and I just had a great experience being on TV, meeting Snoop Dogg, Kelly Clarkson. They really like my music and um, they rock with me. So that was cool. It was overall an amazing experience. I'm old. I I grew up on like the the OG American Idol. You know what I mean? When I I feel like they were keeping to the promise of really turning out these superstars. American Idol hit me up so many times. Really? Oh, yeah. I you know, I actually this was years and years and years ago, but I actually I did American Idol. What? Yeah, I I know. No one knows this. It's just funny, but it's time to come out. I feel like years ago, I don't know, maybe 2017 or something like that. I think this was before I got signed. Um, I was like, man, I was like, they kept hitting me up. They're like, you know, we want to, we'll take you straight to the audition rounds, like in front of the judges and everything. And I went back and forth on it so many times because I was like, you know, I've put in so much work to get to where I am right now. Do I want to give the credit to a show? Good for you. But then I was like, oh, but there is an opportunity here to like, you know, have that TV time, American audience. You know, it's kind of like the thing you're always thinking about. So I went and I did the audition. I got my golden ticket. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And I, I went through it as soon as I left. Literally, I left the place. I told my parents, I said, I'm not doing this. Good for you. I literally, I said, I'm not doing this. Um, And then I called the producers the next day. And I was like, thank you guys. I appreciate so much the opportunity. But I was like, this show's not for me. Yeah. It's just not for me. So, so they didn't. And then they th- they didn't air my audition. They did, they aired me like two seconds with the ticket. But I was like, <laughs> yeah. I had Katy Perry. She said yes. And like they all. And um, they all gave me mad love. But uh, after I got out of that room. I'm like, yo, take this ticket away from me. Take your ticket. <laughs> take it, take it back. I was like, you know, it was a good experience and everything like that. But I'm like, nah, this is not this is not meant to be a part of my journey. So So before we wrap, at this point in your career, do you feel like you've made it? No. <laughs> so what what I, milestone do you feel like you need to hit to be like, okay, I've arrived? It, it's a good question because I don't know. You know, maybe a Grammy. Yeah. But even that, like, it doesn't hold the same weight. Yeah, I yeah. feel like as it used to anymore because there's so so many incredible, amazing artists that have done incredible things and they don't have Grammys. So it, I can't even say Grammy. But you know what? As long as I have people listening to my music and telling me that, you know, my music helped them out in their life and just making people feel good with my, my art, then I'm happy, to be honest. Awesome. Yeah. Anissa, thank you so much thank for coming so much. by. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Mike. Of course. I'll see you next time. Yes. <laughs>